Welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. You can see I have a co-host today. This is actually my mom. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is a very experienced and wonderful interior designer, but she is not a knitter. And so she has agreed to join me for these videos to allow me to teach her how to knit. Um, more than anything, I thought this was a great way for me to be sure that I am telling all of you new knitters out there things that you want to know because she's going to be asking me questions that I'm sure most of you have um, along the way and I'm sure she's going to have the frustration that most of you have along the way because I had it too. So this should be um, a really good series of videos that you will be able to hopefully learn how to knit and hopefully be entertained and uh, have a good time with us. So She's going to have a lot of patience for us. I do. I have a lot of patience. I have a lot of patience. That's good. So what we're doing, we are using some Red Heart Soft Yarn and some size 9 needles. That's what I'm going to have my mom use. So if you want to go ahead and just grab some worsted weight yarn and a pair of size 9 needles, we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started with this thing called knitting. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm excited. Oh man, I really get to put some on there. You do. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, I'm using Red Heart Soft Yarn today, and I'm having my mom use some Susan Bates size 9 needles. Now, these are the crystallite needles, and the reason I chose to have her start on these is because they are plastic, and they're going to grab the yarn a little bit, which will help her, help her to not lose her stitches. They aren't so slick that they're going to fall off, so that's why I have her using the size 9s. Now, I am going to go ahead, and I'm using larger needles than what this yarn calls for. I'm using size 13s because I want you to be able to see the stitches that I'm going to be creating. So that's why I'm using the larger needles. But I do want to point out that typically you would not use a size 13 with a worsted weight yarn. You'd use a size 8 or a size 9. So I just wanted to point out why I'm using two different types of needles today. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to put needles, or not needles, we have to put stitches on our needles. So that's called casting on. So we're going to start off with casting on. Okay, mom, I'm going to move your yarn out of the way because that's what you're going to use. But I'm going to start them off by showing them with my yarn and then oh, okay. I'll be able to show your needle too, okay? Okay. So I'm going to show you what's called the long tail cast on first because it's the it's the com it's a common cast on, and it's one that when you learn it, it looks really cool, but it also creates a first knitted row once you complete it. Okay. So it's it it looks complicated, but it really it's really super easy. Okay. So we have to start off with a slip knot, and because it's called the long tail cast on, that really means we're going to make sure we have a nice long tail, and the length of your tail is determined by how many stitches you're gonna cast on. And I'm just gonna have you cast on 10 stitches here at the beginning, okay? So usually, rule of thumb is you have the length of your yarn be just about as um, the same width as the, the, the piece you're making. So if this was gonna be 10 inches, I would go 10 inches, and then I'd go 10 inches again, 10 inches again, so three times. So three times, okay. Plus a little bit more. Holy macro. Because the circumference of a stitch is roughly like a circle, mm -hmm. which is 3.14 pie. So that's why you do three plus a little bit more. And then at that point, that's where you would put your slip knot. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? So one more time, we're doing a long tail cast on. So we want to make sure we have enough tail. To do that, we're going to say that our 10 stitches is going to measure about that. So we're going to make sure we do that distance about three times plus just a little bit more. And at this point, that's where we want to put our slip knot. Okay. <clears throat> so for a slip knot, you take your tail, you're going to let rest it in the palm of your hand and you're going to take the working yarn, you're going to wrap around your forefinger and your middle finger. When you come back up, you cross over. After you cross over, you turn your hand, take this finger underneath that one and grab the back one. So under and grab and then off and you get a slip knot. And a slip knot means that when we take these two tails and separate them apart, they come right apart. So let's do that together. Go ahead and grab your yarn. You got, you got this. I know, you're looking at me crazy. You got this. No. You can do this. I can't even do the knot. Yes, you can. <laughs> what, you're knitting? Yeah, you're knot, I'm all good. You can do this. All right, so make sure you're in camera so that everybody can see what you're doing. Um, just <laughs> Okay, don't cover the talent, no. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, so we want to make sure that we're going to have three times the length. So about that long, we're going to do that three times. Two three. And then we're going to do just a little bit extra. And it's at this point we're going to do our slip knot, okay? So you take the tail and rest it on the palm of your hand. Take the working yarn, wrap it around your forefinger and your middle finger. 
when you come back up, cross over. There you go. I had short fingers. It's all right. Okay. Now we're going to turn our hand over. Mm -hmm. So just kind of let, I, I put that between my two fingers just to kind of stabilize it. Oh man, I have Just like that, fingers. yeah, just like that. Okay. So we're going to take this hand, go underneath the front loop, and grab the back loop, and then pull it off. You made a slip knot. <laughs> Got the knot. That's it. You're All done. Right. I'm out. <laughs> See, this has been real. <laughs> Where do I pick up my check? <laughs> Where's that knot again? I know, right? So don't hate me. We're going to do it again. So go oh, ahead. You're making me just, take it yeah, out? Yeah. So just pull it apart. Okay. And we're going to do that again. You have to measure it again then? Yep. I lost I'm gonna, my yep. I'm going to have you do it at the very beginning. Okay. I'm going to do this several times, you guys. The reason I'm having her redo it again is not just because it's fun to watch my mom redo stuff. <laughs> it's actually, there's a purpose. The whole process of knitting is it's about muscle memory. And if I don't have you redo this a couple times, you're going to forget how to do this. So I want you to do it a couple times first. And we're going to do the same thing with the cast on. So don't get frustrated with me. There is a method to my madness. Okay. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. So about three times, because we're only going to cast on 10 stitches. That's why I'm having you just do it about this, this much. There's a little bit extra. At that point, we're going to do our slip knot on the palm of your hand, around your forefinger, middle finger, back up and cross, turn underneath the front one, grab the back one, and off. You got this. Well, as long as you're sitting next to me. All right, so here we go. This is where the action starts because now we're going to start to. Wait a minute, my, not, my, my thing's bigger Watch, than yours. Is like I supposed to pull it down? Nope, if you just spread your, the legs apart a little bit, I'll close. Oh, okay. But you don't pull them all apart, otherwise you'll have to redo it again. So how big do you want that? Well, we're going to put that on our needle. So you're going to grab your needle and stick it into that, and then spread them apart. There you go. See that? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is where it's going to look tricky, and it will work, I promise. So let me show you first, and then I'll have you do it, okay? So okay. watch me first. So I have my working yarn. I'm putting it over here towards the right. And I have my tail that we measured off, and I have it towards the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm holding the needle in my right hand and I'm going to use my pointer finger to grab on or to put, hold that stitch in place, okay? Because we don't want this stitch to fall off the needle, okay? I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to do, I call this the quacker. Quack, 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 okay? So quack. Now, <laughs> I know, it's goofy, right? You're going to remember it though. People are going to be like, I don't have my quacker. <laughs> so here's the tail. Mm -hmm. Here's the working yarn. You're going to watch me first, right? Oh, I have my sorry. quacker. I'm going to take my, my hand over here and I'm going between, so I'm going to just set this down so you can see on camera. Here's my working yarn, here's my tail. So if they were an inverted V, I've taken my quacker and I've put it between the two. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So I'm grabbing onto my needle, I'm hanging onto my stitch, and I'm going to now create a gun. Bang, bang. So I've created a gun. So now I have my tail over my thumb, working yarn over my finger. Right, my needle's right in the middle. Still hanging onto my stitch. I'm going to pull it down a little bit now. You see I have an M? Can you see the M? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to take the outside legs of my M and I'm just going to pull them in place just to give myself some tension. I'm just pulling them in. See I'm just grabbing them. It's okay, you got this, I promise. It was outside. I'm pulling it in. And I'm pulling this one in. I'm just going to grab them. Okay. So I have a slingshot now. So I'm ready for the slingshot. This is where I want to get because this is where I have to start creating the stitch. So what we're going to do, take our needle, start at the palm of our thumb, palm of our hand, bottom of our thumb, go up our thumb, we're going to grab that yarn, swivel around to the tip of our finger, come down, grab that yarn, okay? So I've grabbed this yarn. I have a window right here. You see that window? Mm-hmm. Yes. See that window? Yes. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to swing it through that window. And when I swing that needle through the window, see how it takes that yarn I grabbed before, it pulls it through that window? I'm going to do that again. So I'm right here. <clears throat> I went down the finger. I'm going to swing my needle through the window. And I'm going to let the yarn fall off of my thumb. When I do that, it tightens it right up onto my needle. So then I readjust. I get back to my slingshot. I'm going to do that again. We do the same thing. Up the thumb, down the finger, through the window off the thumb and then you can pull these tails and that's what tightens it. Wow, that's a whole lot of work for two stitches. It is. So I'm going to show you again. Up the thumb, down the finger, through, through the, the window, thumb. off the thumb. Okay? And so you're back, you always get back to the slingshot. So of course, 
my quacker is the way I remember. It was always, you do the quacker, do the bang, and then you have the M. You grab the outside of the M's and so you get the slingshot. But if you get to a place when you're knitting that it's faster for you just to, to like, I don't have to do the quacker when I'm just doing it on myself. It's when I teach people. So you don't have to do the quacker every time and be like step by step, but it helps people understand, okay, this is where I get. This is the ultimate position you want to be in. If for some reason you accidentally have the yarn like this, oh, yeah. see how the yarns, you don't want that. Right. Okay, not for this particular cast on. It's a completely different cast on. We always want it to make sure that it's coming out, coming out. Like a heart. Yep, so. like a heart. If mm -hmm. I were to let go, I'm back to my mm -hmm. M. Mm -hmm. See my M? Mm -hmm. And then when I grab my tail, that's when I get my slingshot. You see that? Mm -hmm. So repeat up the thumb, down the finger, okay? Through the window. Through the window. And then if you go off the thumb, down here, these legs. Mm -hmm. That's, I just pull those. Mm -hmm. Now here at the beginning, I'm not worried about how tight you're gonna pull your legs. I just want you to get the stitches on. So that's what we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and watch you do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna get back to where you were so that I can show you. So you're back to where you have a slip knot, just a slip knot. <clears throat> so I'm back to where you just have a slip knot on your needle, okay? Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna do the quacker, quack, 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 quack. And I'm gonna go between the, okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna do a gun. Mm -hmm. So now if I kind of hold that down, I can grab oh, the outside. You're okay, inside. you're good. Yep, grab the outside. I'm just gonna grab it. Grab the other outside. There you go, go back and grab. You got your slingshot, you see your slingshot? Mm -hmm. Now you're not hanging on to your stitch. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Now, okay. I'm going to point something out. You, yep. I'm, oh, I'm kind of loose Exactly. There. It's okay. exactly what I was going to say. Okay. If you find that you're just, you're really uncomfortable mm -hmm. on your way out here, just mm -hmm. readjust. Pull your slingshot up a little bit and just mm -hmm. come up a little snug. Okay. So you're here. We're so going to go up, up the, the thumb, thumb down, down the, the finger, finger, through the window. Whoa. You're good. Through the window? Uh-huh. Then off your thumb and pull your tail. You did it. Holy smokes. So now you have to I readjust. <laughs> so yep, put your thumb exactly. Look, and you don't have to... Hold your stitches. Oh. You don't get to control many things in life, even though you, you think you control dad, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> control these stitches. <laughs> supposed to don't know. tell him. Okay, so up, up the, thumb, the thumb, down the finger, down. Through, the window, finger through the window, off, off the, thumb. the thumb. There you go. So I want you to get 10 of Mine these looks on. looks like a little knot though. That's exactly, those, yeah, yours, they're right there. Okay? Yeah, that's okay. the knit stitch is actually getting created. Oh, so yeah. up the thumb. Oops, hang on, I'm all loose again. Okay, hold your stitches. Oh, I know. It's a lot. It's like bowling. <laughs> you gotta remember everything. Up, down, through, and off. Perfect. Let's get oh. ten. I'm gonna have her get ten of these. I'm gonna have her take it all off and start it again. Okay. So go ahead on your end. Put ten on your needle, and then we're gonna start it over. Okay, mom. I think you have ten, but let's count. To count your stitches. You literally just count how many stitches you have on your needle. And your slip knot does count as a stitch, so you want to count it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have ten stitches on there. Look how long your tail is. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have a nice long tail. So that means great. We planned, we planned appropriately with our nice long tail. But see how it's shorter than when we started? That's because oh, as right. you're creating these stitches, when you go up the thumb, mm -hmm. it's eating up this yarn. That's why it's so important that you have a long enough tail. Oh, right. So nothing worse right. than having right, to right, cast right. on 300 mm -hmm. stitches and you run out of tail. Oh, <laughs> like, right. It's I, a pain. I wasn't thinking this was being used for anything. Yep. I thought this was just hanging out. Now, as I did that, do I push these down each time? Or? Yes. So as, you, as mm -hmm. you were going along, your stitches were getting made and they were starting to scrunch up towards the tip. Mm -hmm. If you just slide them down a little bit to give yourself some extra room, you mm -hmm. create more stitches. Mm -hmm. So as you create more and more stitches, your needle will begin to get filled up. That's why it's so important that you use needles that are long enough for the project you're making. So right. there are a lot of people who will use circular needles even as straight projects because you get a lot of extra length in the needle. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so now I want you to rip it off. We're going to start <gasps> it from the beginning. No. Otherwise, you'll forget. I know. I know, you guys. I know this isn't something you want to do. Just That's trust rude. me. <laughs> That's rude. Rip it off. Let's start from but the you beginning. Just, you just, just oh, slide. I can't easy come, watch. easy go. And just pull oh it apart. Oh, my gosh. But oh you did it. Gosh. And it's all on video. We have proof you've actually knit. That's, That's right. I'm showing everybody. All right, so okay, let's start so from the beginning. Count again. Yep. Right? Yep. One. So about one, two, three. And then just a little bit. 
Talk me through it. Okay, hang on. Um, in the palm of your hand. Palm of my hand, over my fingers. And then cross over. Cross over. And Turn. reach up and that way. Oops. <laughs> Let me do that again. What's funny is I'm sure a lot of you did the exact same thing. I'll talk you through it this time. Okay, so on the palm of your hand, hand, around your forefinger and middle, middle finger, finger, and then cross over. Cross over. Turn. Uh huh. Now go underneath the front one. Under the front one. Grab the back one and off. What did I do wrong the first time? I don't know. Your hands were in the way. I couldn't see. <laughs> I don't know, Mommy. Just, just so at on. this point, you take your needle and you put it into that slip knot. And then you can, these. I call these the legs, so mm -hmm. I will spread the legs and tighten up the stitch. Okay. Okay? okay. So, now remember, you always want to control that stitch on your needle. You okay. don't want it to go anywhere. Okay. So you have the working yard towards the right, the tail towards the left. Okay. Perfect. And we're going to start off with the quacker. Mm -hmm. So you go in between, mm -hmm. and then you bang, bang, gun. And you have to grab your the M's. Get it? There you go. Okay, now you have your slingshot. You can readjust to make sure it's all nice and snug. Hold your stitch. You're just gonna fall oh, off. That's right, it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you got it? Okay. So hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Oh, I'm gonna have you come over here on camera just oh, a little bit. Sorry. People wanna know what you're doing. They wanna... Okay, so we're gonna go up our thumb, uh -huh. down the finger, mm -hmm. through the window, through the window, off the thumb. Oops, nope, I just took it off of this. <laughs> Who said knitting was easy? I don't know who those people are. All right, you got Wait this. Minute, I got to go back. Here. Okay. I got to start over. You go ahead. Nope. Run away. <laughs> I'll catch up. Me. I'm Talk not amongst sure. yourselves. <laughs> Give me a topic. Okay, over the hand, over the fingers. Finger. Oh, don't Oops. turn yet. Okay. So over you're over, fingers. cross over. Nope, you oh. have to cross over back here. That's right. Okay. Cross over. On camera. And down. And then hold it and then... I don't know which one's which. Okay, so start over. <laughs> I <laughs> it's, need a drink. You're good. <laughs> okay, okay, one, two, three, and some. Okay, so over my palm mm -hmm. and yep. over my fingers. And and nope, cross. don't turn. Don't turn. So just cross over like that. Now turn. Now turn. Okay, because now there's no, you can't, one's in front of the other. Right. You don't have to worry okay. about it. Reach under and grab it. Exactly. And then off your fingers. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Holy mackerel. Okay. I'm going to put it on your needle. Okay. And let's get in frame. Hold on to it on my needle. Yep. You want to make sure you hang on to it. So you have the quacker. Mm -hmm. And then the bang. Okay. And you get back bang. to your slingshot. <laughs> I know. It's, What's going it, on here? It, gets, it really does get faster. You don't have to go through all of this process. It gets where, I mean, look, I can just, you, you'll, right. you'll find a routine. Right. Okay. All right, so up, up the thumb, the thumb, down the finger, through the window, window off the thumb. Off the thumb. There you go. Okay. So hold those stitches. Up the thumb, down the finger, through the window, off the thumb. Good job. Go ahead. I want you to get 10. Good. That's good. Now, you can tell your yarn is starting to come unravel a little bit. It's because we've ripped it out and redone it several right. times. Right. If it becomes a problem, mm -hmm. all you would do, you just cut that yarn off, just get rid of it, throw it away, and start, start again. Mm -hmm. Don't be frustrated so with it. you have to start too many times, it's, you're going to ruin exactly. your yarn. Yep. Up, okay. down. Now, oh, stop here. Yeah. You split your yarn. I did. You see? I did. So, and that's normal. I mean, so what would happen here is some people, they would like, well, wait, I created an extra stitch. What happened? That's what happened. So you just want right. to be really careful of that. Okay. So up, down, through, and off. Good job. Up, down, through, and off. Now, I haven't been, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to talk. Mm -hmm. I haven't said too much about how tight she's making the stitches on her needle. There's a reason. <laughs> no, they are. I don't aren't... insult my mom right no, here. <laughs> no, they're not super tight yet. But I do want to caution you not to tighten them so tight onto your needle because it will be very difficult to get your other needle into those stitches the next time you have to start, when you have to start knitting. So there are a lot of people that will cast on like this, actually holding two needles together. They'll hold them together and then cast on and then take one needle off. So that way they make sure that their stitches are nice and loose. Um, what I'm going to do is mom's going to take these off here in just a minute and recast on. And this next time when she casts on, I'm going to make sure that she does 
does does do's them do's them that's great english make sure she does I'm, right. I'm gonna make sure that she puts them on there nice and loose so that way when we start knitting she's not frustrated because she can't get her needle into those stitches okay right. so i'm gonna say the same thing to you guys go ahead get your 10 stitches on look at them great i did it look at that i have stitches on my needle. you you're doing it you have stitches on your needle we're going to take your stitches off this time one more time. If your yarn is frayed, go ahead and snip it, get rid of it, and start on a new section of your yarn just so that it, you're, you're feeling good about it. You're not splitting any stitches. Once you do that, join me back here. We're going to get to the end of this with your 10 stitches on your needle, and we're going to start knitting. Woohoo! It's not bad, right? Yeah, it's not that's, hard. That's 12. That's, I did two more than I should have. Look at you go, overachiever. <laughs> Well, if you can't be first, <laughs> you gotta show her up somehow. So That's you want funny. me to do ten more? Yeah, I want you to get ten on okay, there. Okay, so don't talk to me for a minute. Ten. Let me see how I do. All right, so you have ten stitches. It's not so bad. Not so bad, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just to recap, you've learned to do a slip knot and you've learned to do a long tail cast on, which creates a knitted row. So you've actually created a knitted row. So right. if you were to look at the back side of your work, you'll actually see bumps and those are your pearl bumps. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to learn how to knit now. You ready to knit? Yes. First thing I want to point out is let's take a look at our needle. And the size work, you'll actually see bumps, and those are your pearl bumps. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to learn how to knit now. You ready to knit? Yes. First thing I want to point out is let's take a look at our needle. And the size of your stitch right now is determined by the size of your needle. Okay? So you have this nice big barrel of a needle, and then you have this great tapered edge here. And this tapered edge is where we're going to allow our stitches to be pushed down towards because it will make it easier for us to take our separate needle and go into those stitches, okay? Because now, all of a sudden, the area that is occupying the space between that stitch allows for room for another needle to go into. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Biggest thing is, when we do that, we wanna make sure we don't lose control of our stitches and actually accidentally drop one off. So we're still gonna make sure our hands are all up here hanging on to our stitches, okay? I don't wanna see anybody playing like they're, you know, it's lightsabers or anything like this. I want to make sure you're really up here into the stitches. You wanna control them, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you make sure you're in camera. Always make sure you're in camera. Oh, sorry. That's all right. All right. First thing you're gonna do is place the needle that has all of your stitches into your left hand, okay? And this is the way it is throughout the entire knitting process. You always knit off of your left onto your right, okay? And we're gonna begin working into these stitches. So we're gonna take our right hand needle, we're gonna go into that first stitch from left to right. So we just go into the stitch. And now our right hand needle now is behind our left hand needle. Mm -hmm. And if you use your left hand, you kind of hold both of the needles, okay? I have short Look, hands. I know, I'm, I'm actually resting it onto the, oh, the just to kind of give myself some stabilization right okay. now. I'm gonna grab my tail, my, not my tail, whoa, my whoa, working whoa, yarn. See? My fingers are so short. You're okay. I'm going to grab my working yarn, grab it from out here. Over here, Mom. Bring your hand out here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we're having it out here, mm -hmm. and we're going to take our yarn and go around. You're okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's really okay. Around your right hand needle. So we're my here. My finger was up there. i got to get my finger okay. out of there. Around, mm -hmm. and then come back down, mm -hmm. holding the yarn, and re-grab your right hand needle. Okay, so now you kind of, you're giving yourself some tension. Mm -hmm. on that neat stitch you just pulled through. Mm -hmm. Now here's what's, here's what's happening. We're going to take this needle, our right hand needle, and just like when we swung it through the window from our thumb, we're gonna swing it through that stitch. So you can bring your needle down a little, yep, swing it through. Now push, push that needle, right hand needle, yep. So now, the reason I said push it up mm -hmm. is because now that stitch is secure on there, okay? But use this finger to hold it. Holy and mackerel. I know, hold on, it, it gets easier. I promise it gets easier. <laughs> so just like when we were doing the long tail cast on, so we went through the window, and then what did we do next? We pulled it off. We pulled the thumb off. So now, if this, if this needle represents your thumb, have that stitch drop off. You've just knit your first stitch. Make Whoops. sure it gets all the way off. I messed up on my yarn. It's all right, it's, it's a, it just breaks. Or not breaks, it slits. So where do you? So hold on, so you're right here. So the first thing, here's the first thing 
You don't want to separate your needles like this. Holy smokes, okay. That's what it's I okay. Just did, so. I know, and that's all right. That's what a lot of people will do. Because they're like, oh, I want to tighten that stitch, and this is how you mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that, okay? Because it will gradually get tighter together. Just you want to keep your needles kind of nice and close together. So now we're going to go into the next stitch. You go in from right to left, or from left to right, I'm sorry. And make sure that your right hand needles to the back. Take your working yarn. Make sure you're grabbing it out here. Go around your needle. Why is it getting in my finger? Because you have your, your finger is up there towards oh. the tip. Come down here towards the bottom. There you go. Okay, so do that. Uh-huh. And, and then, then come, come down. And, through the window. Exactly. And then pull it off. But yep. Yeah? Yep. But before you pull it off, uh -oh. I want you to see, no, you're good. You're good. So I'm here. You'll see I've grabbed my stitch and pull it off so I make sure that one doesn't fall off. Oh, yeah. Okay? Well, that would be a bummer. Now, don't forget to push these up towards the tip. These are getting tighter. What am I doing? Am I doing something Well, you wrong? separated it like this a oh, little bit. Oh, that's right. I did. Okay. But it's all right. I mean, they they will get looser as you get knitting. I know. Okay. Take a breath. <laughs> you sweating yet? Well, no. It's just it's a lot to okay. think about. So this is what I do. I go in the front door, in the front door. I just want to make sure I'm okay. Okay. I go around the corner. <laughs> I know. I'm a short block. You know what? No, it's it feels really odd, and it's all about muscle memory. I just can't Eventually. figure out where where are you hanging on? You're hanging on like below the mm -hmm. stitching. Okay. So, so around, around the, corner, the corner, out the window, just like we did with the thumb, out the window. Out the window. And then hold on, make sure that you're completely out the window. Uh huh. There you go. And then, and then off the porch. Mm hmm. Holy smokes. In the front door. Hey, just don't get so carried away. Hang on a second. Make sure you're going to the tip a little bit. It's going to be hard to get oh, into there. Oh, that's right. That's right. Dang. In the front door. It's like making a bed with your eyes closed. You got it. Around the corner. I've got to figure Perfect. out how to hold that mm -hmm. better. It will come with practice. Out the window, off the porch. Now. I'm gonna stop there for a Did second. I mess up? Nope. Oh. But see how close that your stitch is to the tip. Oh, that's make bad. sure. Yep. Make sure you're always. Cause see, look, watch this. <clears throat> I can move my needle back and right. forth. Right. Okay. So this right one can be kind you of. You like can. Yeah. You can totally. Okay. Yeah. You can. Okay. Gotcha. I will always move my stitches here. So I go in the front door. Around the corner. I'm so tight now. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna get it? Yep. Okay, and behind and then around over. the corner, through the window, through the window, and off. And on and off. Mm -hmm. Okay. What that hanging on is really important, isn't it? It really is. You'd just really be ticked off if you messed everything. Yeah, in the front door, around the corner. You got it. Through the window, and then off the porch. Now you'll notice. For me, I will find. You'll find a way. Ooh, I know. I'm like, take a break. My back. I know. Isn't I know. Crazy. Yeah. Let's take a break for just a second, okay? Don't lose anything. All right. You will find a way to hold your yarn, so that way you don't have to let go of your needles all the time, or you don't have to let go of your yarn every time. Right. And that will give you more consistency and as that, your stitches. And that can be whatever way is comfortable for exactly. you. Exactly. So okay. it comes with time. So for me, okay. I like I wrap it around my finger. And because my finger somehow gives me tension, it's because that's what grandma taught me, you know, so I just, I know that. Um, I'm saying that to say, you've already said, I've got to find a way to hold it. Mm -hmm. You will find a way, you'll find a way that is comfortable for you. I have friends who wrap it around their fingers like this, like you'll just find some way that works for you, okay? So, so this is not really a big deal how you do it. Everybody could just do it their own way. Right, the okay. biggest deal is it's that you the keep the you... tension, you know? Because right. the more tension and consistency you can keep in your, your knitting itself, the better. So in the front door, around the corner, yeah, around the corner over my finger. Mm -hmm. I, my I finger did the same the thing. I did the did same you? thing, yeah. Through the window. And then and off the porch. Off the porch. And, the and see how big it is up here? That's now? okay. That's okay? Mm -hmm. Because okay if you because pull why? your yarn, if you pull your yarn, oh, okay. it'll so tighten it up. Pull, and that was the yarn that was side? That was your working okay. yarn. Because now okay. your stitches that are on your right hand needle, mm -hmm. they are your new stitches. So they are they are coming from this, the your working yarn. Okay. Okay? So here we go again. All right. You're almost done. 10 stitches. Aren't you glad I didn't make you do 20? Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> just... You can do this. Okay, that was in the back. 
right on the corner. Make sure you're in camera. Move my finger. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> Hang on to that. Whoops, why does that look you like got, it's no, you're, weird? Am you're I good okay? through the window Hang on to and it. off the porch. Off the porch. You're good. Okay, okay you have two right. more. Okay. Through the front door. There you go. Around the corner. Which You're catches okay. my finger. I'm impressed. There are not many people who learn to knit on camera, so this is good. There mm. you go. That, why does that look weird? You split the oh. yarn a little bit, but I'm not going to oh, worry about I, it. I'll fix oh, it. Should I just take it off and start over or no? No, I no. will fix it off camera okay. because okay. I don't want you to mess up. So oh, okay. So on the last one. In. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, look, I'm getting all... You're okay. I'm okay? Mm-hmm. Through the stitch and off. Let go of that. Did I get it? Okay. So you're at the end. Come over here on camera so everybody can see. Woo, man, I'm sweating. Even mine are all twisted up. I see think, that? Yeah, I think I really messed up. That, no, you're that. okay. All I want you to do is take your stitches and just kind of pull them. Kind of pull them into place. This is your work. This is the start of your work flowing down. What did I do here? It's just the last stitch is always a little bit loose. Oh, okay. So it's really, it's okay. So if you pull them down, you've created your first row of knitting. Yeah, but look at mine's so little. Of course, you've got the bigger yeah. needle too. Yeah. So this is a great example. of. Remember right. we were talking about the right. loose stitches? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's the exactly. Mm -hmm. So here's one of the first things I'm going to show you that people will make a mistake. First off, you all right? Oh my gosh, you good? So <laughs> you really are going to want to drink after this. Yes. <laughs> And you don't drink. That's I'm funny. Thinking. She I'm never thinking. drinks. No, she, she really doesn't. <laughs> All right. So you first question you asked was, why is this one so loose? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's because it doesn't have a stitch on either side to keep it tame, to keep it in place. So one of the first things people will do is they'll, so now all my stitches are in my right hand needle. So I put it in my left hand. And then they'll think, oh, I need to tighten that stitch. I'm just going to pull this yarn and pull it up real nice and tight, right? You don't want to do that. You want to know why you don't want to do that? Oh, why? So, remember I said when we turn, we're going to look at our pearls? So we look at these pearls. Mm -hmm. If I take this yarn, watch mine, if I take this yarn and pull it up, see how it pulls my pearl stitch up? Mm -hmm. And it looks like two stitches now. Mm -hmm. It's really only one. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the number one ways people will accidentally make an extra stitch and create more than 10 stitches now, okay? So what we'll do is here at the end, we're not going to worry about how loose these end ones are. With time, those will start to tighten up and become a little bit more consistent and not as loose. We're not going to stress about you how mean loose with they time, are. The more I do it, the more you do it. Yep. So we've turned, put our work in our left hand again, and we do the exact same thing. So you want to make sure. I didn't say this last time, but I'm going to say it this time. Make sure our yarn is in back because when we knit, our yarn is behind our needles. Okay. And it was before. I didn't want you to think overthink that before. It was before. <laughs> Yeah, you want so to my water. that's right. So it's back there, mm -hmm. meaning it's like we're taking our needle, we're going back to our yarn, okay? Because when we purl, we will come, our needle comes this way, which means our yarn will be over here, just for future reference. <laughs> don't, give me, don't give me that look. So what's going to happen is we're going to take our needle, go into that stitch, make sure you're going in to the right needles to the back. Come over here so they can see you on camera. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And then yarn over your right hand needle, and then out the window. Make sure that's on there. And now off the porch. Now when you go off the porch, see how your stitches are really far down here on the needle? You wanna just scoot them up a little bit so that they don't have to stretch too much. Perfect. Make sure you don't lose that one. And then you just repeat it again. It just all doesn't look right. It's, it will, okay. it, yeah, it, okay. it will look right, okay. so you'll be okay. In, now that's the one that you split that's before. The one that I split before. Which means if you do it, if you keep doing what you're doing, I'm not gonna have you do it, you're gonna have an extra stitch. Oh. So what I'm going to have you do, undo mm -hmm. that. Oh, 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 shh, shh, you're okay. Shh. Okay, you're it good. It never happened. No, <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Just for the purposes of this, I'm going to have you knit together. So go into the stitch and the split yarn together. We're just going to get rid of them together. Make sure that you needles to the back. Yarn over. Pop it out. Scoot them all up. There you go. And off. Now don't strap don't oh, stretch see, them. Yeah, I keep wanting it's to okay. do that. It's okay. Everybody sorry, does. Sorry, sorry. It's because you want to keep the stitches really nice and snug that you tend to want to pull them apart. Yeah. Just try and really resist that. Okay? So here we go. Go okay, in. So in. Oh, I need to push them up more. Go in behind. 
wrap around. Ah! I know. And then come through the window and pull it off. Mm -hmm. Don't lose those stitches. Oh, that's right. I will always... on it. If I lose my stitches, I'm just going to slap myself. Do this for me. Take Bye. your yarn and just mm -hmm. wrap it around your pinky. Yep, just kind of give yourself some tension of some sort. Like that? Yeah, and take these fingers. That is so strange to me. It's kind of go underneath. Holy mackerel. It'll give you some tension. <laughs> I know, just, just I know. Five or six. <laughs> What's one? You just might as well do five or six. Let's try it now. <laughs> go behind. Okay. And still doing my finger. So get my finger out of the way, go through the window, and pull it off. Mm -hmm. Don't lose the stitches. Oh, that's right. It's okay. <laughs> You're okay. It's a lot. I need, I need that on a, on a plank. Or it's a lot to remember. Don't lose the stitches. In. Make sure you're on camera. Oh. Oops, that's behind. In. Around. Out. And, and off. off. Good job. I scare you, don't I? No. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm really impressed. You're doing a lot. Oh, you're just being kind. No, I'm, no, I'm not that kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, out and off. Good job. Yeah, you're right. You do. You automatically just want to tighten everything. Mm hmm Isn't that crazy? Yeah. In, around, out, and off. In, around, out, and off. Just push them. off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. In. Around, out, and off. Last one. In, around, out, off. Whew. Holy mackerel. All right, so. I got a headache. Yeah. <laughs> so you can set them down. You can pull them down like this. So you can kind of see how they're all falling into place. Except that one's. No, it's just a little loose. Funky. It's just you got a little bit. Is that big. a double one? No, no. that's just where you, you're. St you're when you jumped off, you stretched your stitch a little bit. Oh. It's okay. And what, what do you do? How do you fix that later on? Like if I'm making something. Yeah, if this was something you were making, you could go, you would actually think about redistributing the slack. So you'd redistribute a little bit this way and a little bit oh. this way. So you would take your needle and just start adjusting a little bit to gradually eat that up. So, you know, it's something that would happen. Oh, so that but would look, be a pain. Huh? So what I want you to notice now is you're looking at pearls on both sides. Can you see that? So you have the pearls there. How and did that happen? It's because we're doing garter stitch. So if, if you were to think about a knit and a pearl, knits, think of them as the heads of quarters. Right. And the tails of a quarter is a pearl. Mm -hmm. So if I had a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, on, they're all heads facing me, and I were to pick this up and look at the other side, I would see all tails facing me, right? Right. So if we are knitting, 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 we're putting a pearl, 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 pearl. Right. And then we turn it. And we're looking at pearls now. We're looking at our tails. Okay. 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 And we knit, 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 knit. So we're putting pearls on the opposite side. So it's like we are lining up head, 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 tail, 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 tail. Head, 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 tail, 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 tail. Because every time we turn it, every time we change hands uh -huh. with it, we're turning it. Exactly. Heads to tails. Right. Tails to heads. So when you turn your work <laughs> back and forth and you only work in knits, you get what's called garter stitch. So you can get the same thing if you're sadistic and you want to just do pearls. If you purled every row, you would get garter stitch. But typically people will knit every row and you'll get garter stitch. And garter stitch is this. It's this look where you look, it looks like you have, like a, it looks like a double row of pearls. Can you kind of see that? Mm -hmm. It's only one row of pearls with a knit row stacked on top. Can you see how those look like V's right there? Mm -hmm. Those are your knits. So then when you work this row, we work on top of this. We're going to stick pearls on the opposite side. So see those V's right there from the row before? Mm -hmm. So that's why you'll have pearls, knits, pearls, knits, even though you're knitting every row. I know that's a lot and it can get really confusing, but what you're doing is called garter stitch. I'm just afraid I won't know what to look for. Like, you know, some things are obvious that you've done it wrong, mm -hmm. you know, because I wouldn't want to keep going if right. I really screwed up. That's, I'm just worried not being able to look and see to make right. sure I've, I've done. 
So right now, I'm just having you do, do garter stitch. So there's okay. not a whole lot I want you to look for because I don't want you to have to necessarily read your stitches yet. Oh, when okay. we go into pearls, that's mm -hmm. when it will be much more evident. Don't give me that look. <laughs> your, your knits and your pearls will be much more evident and you'll be able to read them and it will make a lot more sense. I think I'm just fine with it. I, I think everybody you know will have a scarf with garter stitch. <laughs> you wouldn't be the only person in the world that does that. Can you do socks with garter stitch? Yeah. 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 I don't think you'd like them. My mom steals all my socks, you oh, guys. I do. They are the best. <laughs> they are the best. But she wouldn't like garter stitch socks. Um, you you could, but you wouldn't like them. Okay. But here's the good, good news. Mm -hmm. You make socks in the round. So when you knit in the round, because you're not turning back and forth, mm -hmm. you're, when you knit, in the, you get the stockinette look that you like. Because... Oh. oh. Okay. As you knit in the round, your knits are always facing always, you. Right. So it's like you you're stacking your quarters. Right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. So your pearls are always on the inside exactly. of your sock. Exactly. Okay. See? Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Because yeah. it can get really confusing. But no, so I get that. The biggest point to put out here is that as you knit every row, if you're looking at this, you're like, well, it doesn't look like knit. It looks like a mumbo jumbo. Mm -hmm. This is actually called garter stitch. This is really easy. And this is where everybody starts? This is, is yeah, this is where everybody starts. So here's your homework, you guys. And this is your homework too, so pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to do is you've gotten this far. I don't want you to rip out yet, okay? I want you to go ahead and continue knitting on these. If you make mistakes, who cares? If you accidentally do an extra stitch, that's okay, because we're gonna rip it out and start it again, right? Because that's what I have you do. I want you to knit a couple rows. Maybe let's do six more rows, just so that you can kind of get to get comfortable with creating the knit stitch, maybe holding your yarn, and then seeing the garter stitch actually start to take shape. Once you do that, go ahead and I want you to take it all off, cut your yarn, don't reuse that yarn, cut it, just get rid of it, and we're gonna start again. So you're gonna do your slip knot, cast on, and then I want you to knit. Um, so cast on 10 stitches, and I want you to knit at least 10 rows, okay? The best way to keep track of that as far as, you know, knowing how many rows you've knit instead of having to count them get a little tick like a make a tick mark so get a little piece of paper or a post-it note or something and just put a tick mark every time you finish a row put a tick mark so that way you know you have 10 rows okay once you have the 10 rows i want you to join me back here and i'm going to show you how to purl and it's really important that i show you how to purl on top of the garter stitch because i think it will be easier for you to see how the stitches begin to take shape and, and form themselves again. And I don't want to have you um, recast on at that point, okay? So I want you to have some garter stitch and we're going to jump into some pearls, okay? So do you, was that clear? Do you know what your homework is? Well, you're having me shred my homework and start all over. That's so right. I'm, I'm a little irritated about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have you go ahead, do five more rows on this, and then we're going to take it off, recast on 10, and I'm gonna have you do 10 rows. Okay. And then we're gonna show them what you have. Okay. All right? Okay. All right. All right, guys, that's it for the Learn to Knit video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Um, she she managed, she's here, she's still knitting. I'm still here. You're still here, she <laughs> hasn't left. Here. She's like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have her do her homework and then we will jump into the purling. So make sure you come back for more. I'm Marley Bird for RedHeart.com and- I'm Marley's mom. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's so cute.